Here we go. We're all starting off the reunion by going to eat. Hey! Yeah. We're all going into BJ's. I guess they're going to feed us all day long, huh? Super family reunion. That's the thrasher before it's running and nobody's around. It's nice and quiet and peaceful here right now. The head engineer, no doubt who that is when you look at that. You know a head engineer always rides around in something like that. One of the tourists. Not bad, not bad. Could have shaved them, but not bad. Right away, somebody took him over to tent to shade. Retired people. Lots of retired people. And just plain tired people. Farm is quiet right now. This is the parking area. And here's the crowd. They're all here. Everybody's here now. Okay, we'll shut this off and get it running a little bit. Family Kasuba reunion in August of 2000. Of the combine on the top of the hill. Uh, of course, this, what started it all would be this uh, Santennial over a hundred years. And a shot of the farm in the distance. The driveway leading down. And what picture would be completed with Kasuba Farm without, you guessed it, black and white. None other than Mr. and Mrs. Holstein. Yes. First class. Oh yeah. What else we got going there? Farmers. Legs. Bad legs. Verisco. Old Glory should be flying on this farm in this day. Beautiful setting. I can remember this was in gravel covered with cow shit. And I used to walk through it barefooted, I know. We'll get some shots of it over in the distance here. It's a pot that Ann Ann used to cook uh, Cliff McSweeney and John Kasuba's lunch in. And then everybody else got to eat out of the small kettle. Oh God, legs, legs, bad vertical veins. Honor to Grandpa Frank, the Kasuba family, even some of the Hendrickson's. <laughs> There's where they rang the bell when they wanted us to come to eat. As soon as the family got here and Clifford and I didn't show, they shut the bell down. They never, they was hoping we didn't hear it. <laughs> That's where I had to pump all the water for the washers and the baths. I remember a little Grandma Kasuba separating cream and that. I hope it's the same one. It is. Is it? Good. Picture of the farmhouse. Shed. And of course the barn. My dad was one of them that roofed that barn. That roof, barn's got the same roof on it for 60 years. Everything's Holstein around here. Everything, even the bell chimes is Holstein. Holstein, flowers and trinkets and dinkets and geese and you name it. Just in a hell of a party. Huh? How are we doing? No. Oh, just in time, yeah. Miller. Seen that commercial on TV? Yeah, I used to own this house. What kind of hot dogs you having? Miller time. <laughs> Ham? I hope it isn't I hope it's circle M. No. No? no. Okay. <laughs> no. No, that's all right. I've had plenty of ham. Just thought I'd catch a shot of you guys loafing in here. Is that on? Well, no, 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 I just carry it around. All. It's empty, really. It's like my when I'm hunting deer, I always got an empty gun. There's a few loaves left, so come on in and have some. Well, thanks anyway, but we just ate up the BJ's. Catch up with it. No, and more coming. I gotta get back out and collect five dollar parking tickets. Here we go. John Hendrickson, he's tidying up the place a little bit. There's a ramrod. He don't wear shorts. He's he's civilized, right? <laughs> well, somebody's got to be bosses. Somebody's got to be laborers, you know. I'm just I'm going to zoom up on your chest area to show this. Now turn around and see your backside. Isn't that great, huh? Yeah, that's really nice. Rosalie and Bonnie.
Loretta's son? Retiree. Retiree. It wasn't cold. People were still going there, but the power was out for over 10 days. Hi, Pee-wee. Kasuba and his family. Uh, she's a, she's a, I, no, nobody knows me, and I says, I said, I don't know this. You know, I've been over for 38 years. So, that's fun. Rosalie. You know. Ronnie. Ronnie. You know, Georgia. Jerry. Broke your camera. Oh, we got them on there. You get older, you say, no way, it's not worth it. Well, thank you. She's down there. Some of them are slipping into the cracks. <laughs> but now I gotta go. Why? Do we write our own name on it? Yep. Yes. Okay. Jim is he said just up here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like how that makes us look. Yeah, right. You look all right. You look all right. Yeah. Oh, my favorite color. I'm a normal guy. Oh, Kind of neat. Yeah, leave that open. We get them over towards the fence. Should have got out with a lime bucket, huh, John? There's only a dozen and ten thousand things to do. There's an old geezer. Little ones and big ones and medium sized ones. They won't park close to the combine when the dust starts flying, John. Hey, Richard, you should have got on farm all. Ramrod, that's the big man right there. get a picture of some hawk. I seen a hawk circling. I was wondering what the heck was going on. Now I know. <laughs> I'll get a picture. I thought that was one of the old boys, but it's Cliff. <laughs> what do you mean get out of here? <laughs> yeah, I got the job. How about that? And it's just like me. My batteries haven't got a good charge in it. <laughs> they aren't lasting. Well, it's a pretty. <laughs> Jerry Kasuba, Georgie's boy, and his Georgie's two boys. I don't want to miss. Lots of hugs and kisses and squeezes and promises of seeing each other again and having it happen to be another thing. Hi, how are you? Great. Aunt Pauline, Uncle George's wife. You come and get it. I don't care if you or who. 
Hey, hey, how you doing, Shuby? How you doing, Josh? Not too bad. <laughs> Behaving. Yeah, that's you good. You too? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Hi, Anne Evelyn. Hi. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Good. Oh, you found some shade. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. There's a there's a pair to draw to too here. Yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of people showed up for the one trying to sneak away, but I'm not gonna let her. Look at that. Yeah, camera shy. Camera shy. Hi. How we doing? Not too bad. It's a tasky bunch. Marion, how are you? All fine. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, cameraman. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good job. How are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Lucky me, right? Uh-huh. You get to carry that around all day? I guess. I'm supposed to be sharing this with my brother, but he hasn't showed yet. Oh, he has? Yeah, he heard that they were charged with $5 a park, so he's probably walking from Gator. Yeah, I think he's walking. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got that on camera. Yeah, right. I, oh, he knows. <laughs> Oh, nope. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Got you all. No Hello, Beth. How are you? Your camel over there. <laughs> right. Hi, girls. Hi there. How you doing? Yeah. Well, Sandy, aren't you going to say hi in the right I way? See who was behind the camera. Hi, Jen. I'm kissing all cousins oh, if they like it or not. There's another one I haven't kissed right here. Hi, Jen. Hi, hon. How are you? Me. How are you doing? Good. I know, uh, shit, you ain't gonna get one either. You bend over, you'll see what you'll get. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, Mary. Good. Hi, John. Get this on camera. See? <laughs> How you doing? My lips are getting chapped already. Anybody got a chapstick? Anybody? <laughs> Lots of go, kisses. Go get some uh, <laughs> Right, right. Some axe will grease off the tractor. Yeah, he's got his, he's got his wild pants on, Austin. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> Hey, where's the farm guy? Where's the farm guy? Yeah. 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 They're sneaking in through the cracks all over, ain't they? My God. Jeez, John. Don Lyle. He's still alive. I can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> Somebody told him. Huh? No, I just gained weight. I used to always be 135 pounds. <laughs> How you doing? Where's Joanne? I ain't kissed her yet. She's around here. Are you making videos for everybody? Yeah. Well, I'm making them, and then if they want them, they can have them. Yeah. Cliff McSweeney's son. Two sons. And a daughter. Hey. No, they want to look good. They want to look good for the party. Combing their hair. He's down over here. You 
I just want to make sure that all the social security stuff there takes rattled off. They say, well, thank you. What's up, Chief? Looking for Davy. <laughs> ain't seen him in a while. Find that key. Where's the key? Uh, Uncle Chum. Right here. Good, good. Yeah, Uncle good. Chum was right here a minute ago. He's the guy. Better legs than I've seen around. Actually, I think he's smart. He's getting paid. Nice legs, ugly toes, ugly toes. Never mind. Just the other day we met. I'm still learning this thing. Here's a close-up, hon. Hey. Okay. I took it off. I'd rather look through the, uh, you know, through the uh, eyepiece rather than this here. Rather than that. Yeah. Am I zooming? Yeah. Oh. You know what? Turn around, because I don't think I had you. Now I got record. Yeah, you have to have that record on. Okay, I got you now. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's totally different. That's yeah, I think I got it now. There, her mouth is going too. Okay. Uh, sorry for all the shaking around here, but. Last reunion, I don't know how many pictures we got of this the super crowd here, but I guess we'll just keep on taking them. Get all them with your head out. I'll take more better pictures than that. It won't cost as much. Yeah, uh, you got that right. They're getting ready. That's Uncle Bob's clan there, so. I'm going to zoom up on it. I don't know how this will turn out. I can't see the screen very good. My eyes are... Well, if you want to, you can use that. You don't have to use that. Well, there's a strap on the side, Bob. Hey, you're standing on your head? Yeah. Now, you want to see something really cute? Yeah. Look at that. And I'll get up real quick. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing, though. Uh, I don't even know if you're going to be able to pick anybody out, but I understand. So here's the old... Few head of cattle here. Still more to come. Come on, Lord, get your picture taken. Oh, God Almighty, look at this. Look at that picture. Isn't that beautiful? We're getting our picture taken. Uh, over here. I know you are. All right. Hey, I'll see you. I'll see okay. You Tell him I said hi. Okay, I'm going to shut it off right here. I used to, as a little kid, I used to play up in them hills and stuff over here. Oh, God, we used to have a good time here as a young kid playing on the farm around the lake and everything in that old barn right out there. Oh, it's still going. Hey, you got a gold chain. He must have got it off of Brent. No, he got it off of Jeremy. That's Jeremy's gold chain. Boy in the hood. Hey, hub. That'll work better. Oh, yeah, there they are. Everybody's in there. She wants to 
we finally put coins in the sawdust pile, so that's that's what we're at. We're in there after it. Having a good time. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. A couple of them heading for the haylofts. That's me heading for the No, I'm talking about them down there walking for the hayloft. Wherever they are, I caught them. You've done that too, chum. The camera only takes so much of that. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> of the moo cows out in the field. That's Kasuba Road right there. Some of Uncle Bob's cows. I'm gonna swing around here. Who's that? I don't know who it is. Cameraman, picture man. Get the thrasher out here. Fashion machine. I probably should get out of this driveway so I don't get run over. There we go. John explaining everything. I don't know if they can't get it started or they ain't ready for it yet. Here's the old anchor Uncle Bob found on the farm. When he was putting some crops in and he 
dug it up. We don't know why it ended up here or how it was brought over here or anything else. But uh, that's it. Let's picture this. In this angle here. Wonderful bunch of people. And if you're ever marry into this family or in any which way or form join this family, they'll welcome you with open arms. Talk your ear off, hug and kiss on you. So it's a pretty uh, family orientated. A lot of morals, hard working ethics, family structure, very good. Uh, goes back a long ways. Right there. That's the last time I saw a thrasher here was when we had the uh, Centennial some 20 years ago. I believe this farm, if I'm not mistaken, was homesteaded around 1880s by my great grandpa. So I can learn a little something, you know, a little bit more about it today if I get an opportunity. Well, they got it going. I just hope all the kids are careful around here. Who's operating? One of Bob's son-in-laws, I believe. Uncle Bob's son-in-law. There's Uncle Bob. <laughs> I tell you what, the guy, I think he's 78 years old, something like that, or somewhere in that time frame. Working, working Holly. Great man. Bring back a little, it's a old thrashing machine. So, there's my, my nephew buddy, my good friend, Vern. Yeah. I didn't have it. Do uh, it again, one more time. One more time, we gotta get that on film. Getting ready to go for a try. He's gonna do it one more time. <laughs> well, hey, I'd say this. Don't quit your day job. Okay? <laughs> Don't quit your day job. Mr. Morel Mushroom he was. That's who Mr. Paul Kasuba was. What a hell of a nice guy he was. Oh, I hope this takes. Yeah, we're having fun yet. That's what I want to know. How does that sound? Smile, guys. What a beautiful bunch of people. God, are you beautiful. Are we not going the same way? Well, that was a short trip. You know? Hey. You are beautiful. Hi, guys. Oh, man. We had a longer one than that. Oh, man. What a nice picture. Another bunch of beautiful Kasubas. Uh oh. Hey, turn for me here. There you go. Oh, God. Restored old tractor. He doesn't let one speck of water get on there, I understand. He's out there polishing it. Hey, ain't that a nice bunch of people? Hello, everybody. <laughs> ah, that's great. There they go. Up over the hill. It's not very clear, hon. Isn't it? No. Why is that? Boy, I'm having a hard time seeing them in there. I think it's looking right into that sun, that's why. Oh, there we go. There they go. And I wish my poor dad could be here to enjoy this. Wouldn't he love to hear them old John Deere's going at it? This is out the backside of uh, 
the old farm, going up on the hill behind the pines, which would be the south side of the lake. I'll try to zoom up here a little bit. I don't think it makes a decent picture or not. I'm eh, just trying to get a little idea how they go. What do you think, hon? Hi. Uh, That's beautiful. You had to, to get that picture back. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear the old chug, chug, chug from the John Deere or not. Okay. Shut it off. Yeah, path. go ahead. Right on down the path. This is coming, uh, heading west from the farm right down to the lake. Lois and I are going to take a walk down there and try to get a little picture of the lake. I walked these trails a million times as a kid. Okay. Picture of this here. I'm looking west now, right from the farm at the base of the hill. Base of the hill. I try to zoom up and see. It goes right west, right into the end of the lake there, and goes around into a little bit of a bay on the backside. So I know this camera's jumping. I'm down. This is kind of new for me. This camera. Well, it's not going to take a little walk over by towards Dad's place. We should walk up on him. And get Brad and Lori over there. I don't know who they're talking to. Lane. Lane? Yeah. And they're walking back this way. Down the path. I know. <laughs> yeah. With Mary's carvings. Who's? Oh, yeah. Oh. That was another thing, yeah. Just had to bring the canine for a cool down. Hey, I see that. That ain't all bad. No. <laughs> I'm tempted to do that myself. Boy, the lake's really down, eh? Oh, yeah. Kurt? Feet. You know, not just inches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think uh, your dad said 50. Hey, here's the clan again. What the heck bunch is this? Oh, them again. Looks like a pretty rough looking gang to me. What do you think? Uh, what about life in general? Uh, what do you think about the weather and life in general? Oh, it's great. <laughs> hey, has anybody seen any kasubas around here lately? <laughs> More than you could stand. Oh, I thought Dad's basically dead. Mom and Dad's the next door neighbor. And next to them was Uncle Paul's old place, which Peggy and Bob live into now. And they've completely rebuilt it. There's Justin looking for worms. Who's this? Justin. A worm digger? Yeah. That's your great grandpa's old worm bed box. <laughs> Tuba waving. I got to get a picture. There's a bunch of beautiful kasubas and stuff over there, I think. Hey, on Peggy's porch. right here. His most favorite view off his deck. He just loved looking at this lake and having a peace and quiet and having some of his family around. This here uh, is right from right from the edge of Ma and Dad's property right at the base of the hill looking at the lake. Homestead for Mom and Dad. Probably some of Ma and Dad's I know Dad for sure. That's his probably his favorite spot to set. Let's right up there. You showed up here any time of the day and night, any day of the week, and you found him sitting right about there, staring out across the lake. Always glad to have company come over. Then Maud here us come over right away. She'd run for the pots and pans and see if she couldn't cook something. So, well, we miss them both. What do I see down here? Who's fishing down there? Hello? There was a bass that big in there. Huh? There was a bass that big in there. How big? Show me how big. Holy mackerel, I wish you'd have got him. I had him on my blue gun. You had him on? Oh, that's good. Oh, you been catching anything? Yeah. That's good. Take one more picture. Mom and Dad's retirement home. How oh, they loved it here. How oh, we miss them. I can't tell you how much I miss them. I wish they were both sitting up to right now smiling at us. Oh, who owns it, hon? It's recording. Love that bench. Yeah, there's the bench. 
You want us to see? It's beautiful. That bicycle, go up to the top of that hill right over there. And honest to God, when you came down that hill, you must have been going 90 miles an hour down right to the bottom of the hill. This has been blacktop for a long, long time. I don't know why. Vivian, that's Rosalie, that's Aunt, Aunt uh, I know. You don't? Okay. I was wondering if That's Aunt Edith, one of Aunt Edith's daughters. Right. Bonnie and there's Rosalie here. Yeah. How you doing, Kim? You got too many of them out there. Yeah, pretty nice display, ain't it? Yes. Huh? I didn't bring any of mine. I, I, I was wondering, but did you hear about it or not? Yeah. Why didn't you do it? That's what it was for. That's your heritage. Huh? That's your heritage. I got the book with me. Uh -huh. I brought the book with me. Well, good. You got it out? Yeah. Put it it's on the, the table. Car. Put it on the table. That's where they're at. Go we'll get it. I want to see some of that. Yeah, put it up over there. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't care about the money. No, but I, don't just, care uh, about I just hope. Put that last. Just hope. Mixed bag of bucks. I like that. Huh? Whole bag of bucks. I like that. Bag of bucks, yeah. John. John. Out of all the mountains, yours is probably the best. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, Shuby, what do you think? If you think there ain't some big bass in there, you ain't seen the one down at the bottom yet. Got the name on it. Yeah, but he's Denny Roberts. Yeah, Uncle Bob's son-in-law. Oh. Married to uh, Sharon. Hey, there's some beards almost as big as mine here. Yeah. One, maybe. Look up behind there. You ain't looking all the way. Pictures. He's all right. Lots of good stuff. Hey, John. Ready to go again? Yeah. Don't you love dragging them out? That was there? Colorado. Yeah. Ain't that fun dragging them out of there? Oh, yeah. Here, Oh, 
<laughs> I called up that mountain and him and I met up. Hey, Johnny. Howdy. for him and for his 
inspired me. Thank you. to get you when you're all setting together, see? All right? Everybody run. <laughs> Thank you. John, when you get done with your videotape, put me on your list. All right. Copy, okay? You'll have to make the contact with me sometime after hunting time, like around after the holidays, and then I'll have tape for everybody. Hi, John. Oh, 
<laughs> Good. Every place I look, you're either got a camera or you're eating. My little grandchild. Yeah. A picture of them. That's a dandy. He's a keeper. They're all keepers, right? How lucky we are. <laughs> well, hello, John. Hello. How is everybody? Fantastic. Yeah, it's a good day. Yeah, <laughs> right.
My love to both of you as well as everybody else here sent there. Number two, on the left hand side, my left hand side, there is a book. If you want a videotape, Vern and John are going to try and reproduce a videotape. We don't know what it's going to cost, but they'll, you know, do it and mail it to you. They'll just charge the cost of the tape and the mail. If you're interested, please come up and sign the book with your name, address, and phone number, and hopefully we'll be able to get a no video copy of what's going on. Ern and Jill also ask, I'd like to thank Ern and Jill both for all the games they provided for the kids. No matter where I am, there's a kid playing with something, I think that's wonderful. Uh, there are outside toys, moves, and stuff like that for the little kids. And you middle-aged kids that remember the little holes, why not give it a try and see if the hips will still hold it up? There is uh, toys over here, near the hallway, and there is a basketball hoop outside, and also the baseball diamond. Thanks again for coming, and have a good time this evening. And for heaven's sake, God's sake, we're going home. We want you back to the next video. Love you all. Let me shake a hand of a man. <laughs> How you doing, Frank? Good. I seen you earlier, but I knew I'd get to you eventually. I'll be talking to you a little bit. I know you just got up there to eat, right? <laughs> there was a pair of glasses left out of the sunrise, left out in the farm. There's two great guys right there. There's a couple hunters right there. He shot a deer or two. Okay, it done real good with it. Look at these deer heads. There's Lois and mine. They're taking a look at it. John's pointing it out a little bit. Tell them what you are. Yeah, Dolor Dolores Kasuba. Okay. The, the buck, what was the weight of the biggest buck? The weight? Oh, that I don't know. See, ask the question. I had to get that. I think it would have been been that one that Uncle Lou got. I think it weighed 255. Okay. Bird thinks it would have been the deer that Uncle Lou shot that weighed 255 pounds. Right? And we'll buy that. Okay, who shot the buck with the biggest rat? Dolores Kasuba. Ha ha! Yay for the winner, Dolores Kasuba. <laughs> Dolores Kasuba shot the buck with the uh, biggest rat. Who shot 
makes sense. They want to dump their oppression and then I didn't even know what to do. So, thanks for being on the Guys, don't be careful going home and don't celebrate too much when you leave here. We'll see you all tomorrow morning at the new mass, I hope. And we'll say an extra special prayer for Uncle Ed's kids. Because it's had to be a real rough time for them. I know it was for all of us who have lost care. So God bless all of you, and hopefully we'll see you in five years. Bye-bye. Same size, same size shoe. The problem is you had the wrong leg. You had the wrong foot out there. Yeah, they're all different. Look, you need a left foot out there. You want you to back down or right foot out there. What is this? Parking lot party? This is a toast party. Wait, I'll just say shoe. Same size. Is this a plan or did it just happen? Okay. Months in advance, they were. Uh, <laughs> That's great. I can't believe I can't believe it. Nice hat. Got it. Good, Zach. Tori. Tori. Oh, I think you stand by Zach for a second. Wait. Hurry up. Boy, thanks. It will be soon. Because it's getting. Before and after shot. What happened to all the heads? Did you get Randy's knuck buck? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Turn it around so I get a good picture of it. Just pride and joy. Yeah. That's a good one, all right. Randy's, he's always, all, I've always said he's always sucked hind tit. <laughs> <laughs> All part of it. Well, next time we put them together, we're going to make all the Kasubas bring their horns. Well, I bet the ones that didn't will wish they didn't. They will. You won't have to tell them. You won't have to tell them next no. time. No. No. That's quite a display of horns on top of that Suburban. 
that's hauling a lot of bucks the tough way. That's for sure. Ah, uh, yeah, he's a dandy. No doubt about it, man. You guys are hornier than hell. <laughs> I'm training myself. It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's taking pictures. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, walk around. I like that. Man. Yeah. I forgot about that. I didn't even get it. I don't hope I got a picture of it. Oh, yeah. Well, good. They like that to spray up on the hood there on the top, Bernie. Yeah, I, I guess. So. I'm going to set them outside. You, you sure you want to be on that, Debbie? Just keep right on going to the Let's see here. Muscle. We're doing fine. The eyes, the eyes of the beholder, the eyes. <laughs> hey, hold that mouth up next year. It's a fisherman. <laughs> no, do that. Hold that mouth up next year. Open up now. Let me see. The biggest. Ah, the fish won, but not by much. <laughs> no, fish lost. <laughs> oh shoot! Hey, don't go away, mad. Did you see that, Judy? I thought I walked around. Okay, just a minute. Don't worry about that. Oh, yeah, I want to go. Okay, we'll get Anna, this is how you spent your reunion, falling off a chair and you went to sleep and never did wake up. <laughs> What's he doing? Signing the register? We know who he is. Huh? Right in the north of Paul. Okay. Polly and his wife because they couldn't get off for it. Oh, I see. Okay. The end of a perfect, perfect situation. We had fun. No doubt about it. Dad, where's your car? Did you drive the car? Yeah. We're done with the smoke. I need to see you. You need to let it I don't know what that was all about, but anyway, it's, it's all over. <laughs>